TitleMatchNetwork.com. Have you ever refused to do a job? And if so, what were the circumstances? I've never refused to do a job. I've asked about jobs. Right. And uh, for an example, um, one of them was Vito. Um, I was uh, in Cincinnati and um, I told my mom, my mom was actually on the road because she was working for us then. And I said, you know, damn, I'm going to go to Cincinnati today, mom, and just, I'm just so sick of battling for position and just whatever they tell me to do, I'm going to do, you know. And I walk in and see the board, Vito and Buff, and automatically I knew Vito was going to beat me, you know. So I said, no big deal, you know. So I went to hey, took our time and played around. So they called me in the finish room, you know, and, and um, Vito says, uh, they go, we got, you know, got to catch you with the finish, you know. And I said, well, I said, uh, okay, no problem. And they went like this that day. Wow. Couldn't believe it, you know. And, I, and they said, uh, okay. I said, but I'll be honest with you. I said, I can't take that spinning DDT thing and do with my neck. I, I said, you can just roll me up. You, right. can, you can poke me in the eyes and pin me. I said, I'll, I'll be business. I said, but I don't, you know, I said, I can't take that DDT thing on my neck. And um, as I'm talking to him, I think about it and I go, Vito, I said, who do you have at the pay-per-view? He said, I'm all. And I just got my head and I went. And John A said the same thing. He was like, he knew, was, he knew that I was going after and I went, Johnny, I said, I was going to try to be a good guy today. I said, Where's Vince at? You know, Russo. Right. So I went to talk to Vince, and I talked to Vince. I said, Vince, I said, man, what's what's going on? Just tell me, you know. He said, we want to shock the people. I said, well, if we want to shock the people, I said, have me beat Goldberg or Sting. That'll really shock them. <laughs> <laughs> you know? My God, that'll blow their minds. I said, if we want to shock them, let's shock them. He said, well, there's a percentage out there that wants to see Buff I mean, wants to see Vito, you know, or our sh shocked people. I said, well, what percentage would like to see Buck hit his blockbuster and do his dance and pose with his music on and leave with his top hat? Right. He says, a good point. And he said, what about if we do a thing where, you know, he slides over on you and then you hit him when you're finished and then, you know, you guys can, um, you know, work it out, you know, whatever. And um, um, I said, now that's business. I said, I can go with that. You know, and um, as Vince and um, Johnny were talking, it just kind of disappeared. And I said, what happened to my blockbuster to get back and make it all make sense, you know? And uh, Russo said, there you go again, talking about money. we are talking about winning and losing. And I said, what? I said, Vince, not talking about winning and losing, bud. I said, it's talking about business. Said, right. That's just business, you know? I said, we're two weeks away from a pay-per-view, one week away. I said, we've been working three weeks. My mom is bruised from the knees down, taking 13 diamond cutters from Canyon. I know I'm the stepping stone for Canyon and Dallas, so I got no problem for that at all. But trying to draw a rating and videos off the pay-per-view, I mean, explain that to me. You know, and he, he he just said, "Well, I can't." So I went out and did the job. You know, right. so never once refused. Always, I say always. Very seldom would would ask or question like anybody would. We don't know what they're thinking when they're booking. You right. know, we got to ask. And but uh, never, ever, ever, never, ever in my career that I refuse to do a finish. Never. TitleMatchNetwork.com